because we're very transparent. And so last night, I could not sleep for the life of me. I was up, like, most of the night. And I was about 4 o'clock in the morning. And I was just laying there, like, looking at the walls. You know how, like, those nights happen sometimes? And I just couldn't sleep. I just felt like I needed to be in intercession and prayer last night. So I was up most of the night in intercession and prayer. And, um, and I was laying there, and the Lord began to put some people in my heart to pray for. And it, I, I, felt like, I felt like the people that he was telling me to pray for, I felt like, like God, how can I even pray for these people? Because um, they may, like, uh, we didn't end bad. Like, relationship didn't end bad. But, like, relationship wasn't as strong as it used to be. Mm-hmm. And, and I started thinking about all the mistakes that I made in that relationship with people. And the Lord began to speak to me in, into my heart. And he says, did you learn from your mistake? And I said, what? And he said, yeah, did you learn from your mistake? And I said, yes, Lord. I said, I did learn. I, and he says, well, what did you learn? And I just sat there and I was just having this talk with the Lord. And I said, well, I learned, um, I began to learn how to value people and not take for granted those that you put in my life. And, and I began to um, just share with him my heart. And he said, okay, so now that you know that you learned from your mistake, now you can pray with power over these people. Now you can intercede and you can come from a part of love, of value, and of treasuring people that I've put in your life. And I just began to like weep and cry because I began to feel this intense love for these people. And I knew it was the Spirit of the Lord because. It wasn't there before. And after I had this talk with the Lord, this intense love came out of nowhere for these people. And my prayer began to change for these people. And I just began to like bang the throne of God for them. And I literally prayed for these people all night long and the Lord wouldn't let me rest. And he just kept saying, you got to keep praying. You got to keep praying. And that's what he just kept telling me was, Did I learn from my mistakes? And I believe so many times in relationships, there's mistakes that are made sometimes. Sometimes it's not even just mistakes that we made by ourselves, but maybe in relationships, multiple people have made mistakes out of being immature or or just not knowing how to even love sometimes. Mm. Just not knowing... Um, how to react and respond to people in certain situations. And the Lord was showing me that last night. He's like, did you learn from your mistakes? Did you take what you did wrong and change it? Did you, did you learn from that situation that now when people are in your lives, like you're going to look at them differently. You're going to treat them differently. You're going to respond differently. Your reaction to people is going to be different. And I said, yes, Lord, I did. And he says, okay. He says, that's the part that I'm looking for. That's the part that that I'm looking in your heart for. I'm looking in your heart. If you learned from the mistake that you made, mistakes are always going to be made in our lives. And sometimes they come in different forms and different fashions in all of our lives. And sometimes the enemy is real good at pointing out our mistakes to make us feel unqualified, make us feel like, like we shouldn't be in intercession and prayer for people or, or maybe, you know, make you feel unqualified. Like how dare you pray for this person when, when you got in a fight with them, when you got in an argument with them, when, when things didn't pan out the way you thought they were going to pan out, maybe it was a season of this. And, and the Lord came to me and he says, did you learn from that mistake? And I said, yeah. And he said, okay. That's what I need to hear to work so we can work on this together. And I think so many times the enemy wants us to look at the mistakes we've made and to walk away from things, to walk away from relationships, to walk away from 
bad things that we have formed bad in our mind. Like, oh, well, they'll never forgive us. Oh, well, they'll never see us that way again. Or they'll never embrace us again. They'll never come and, and give us an opportunity to be in their hearts again because of what transpired. And the Lord began to show me something different. He's like, there's no record of doing wrong hmm. in my heavens. That's right. There's no record of wrong in my heavens. And because of that, there's always an opportunity to learn from your mistakes. I always give opportunity for people to learn from bad choices or bad. Maybe you made a wrong turn somewhere along the way and you need to get back on your path. And the Lord's like, I give opportunity for people to get back on the path that I originally had them on. And it was so crazy because... The other day I was sitting down and I, you know, you, your mind sometimes does this traveling, you know, and it goes to places and sometimes your mind takes you to places where you shouldn't even go to. And I'm not talking about sinful thoughts. I'm not talking about sinful things. I'm talking about the would have, could have, should have. And it, and your mind begins to format these things of maybe maybe this what if this i should have done that and we forget that he's the writer of our story That's right. so if things didn't transparent just transpire yeah. the way they thought that the way you thought it should have happened the lord began to show me that last night he's like he's like i had a different road for you i had a different path for you and none of that even matters because you had to stay on my path regardless. You had to be pulled. You had to be pushed a t into a whole other direction than you ever thought you would go. Because if you would have stayed in a certain place or you would have you done a certain thing, those things, I wouldn't have been able to push you and pull you into your destiny, into your purpose, into the very thing that I've called you to start walking in. And, wow. and I began to hear the voice of the Lord last night just pouring his heart over me. And, and he's like, you learned from your mistake, and that's all that matters. You know, and I think that that's been a, a tool from the enemy of pointing out our mistakes all the time, that we can't get past the mistakes. Yeah. You know, I, we go around and we, we, we travel and we pray for people, and you don't know how many moms and dads that I see that carry this deep hurt, this deep pain inside of them because of mistakes they made with their kids. Yeah. And, and, and I'm like, Oh my God, like, I don't, I don't even know who this is for, but I believe this is for somebody who's listening right now. I believe that the enemy has played you too long to make you believe that you made some bad mistakes even with your kids. And the Lord's like, did you learn from your mistakes? Did you learn to make things better? Did you learn from that very thing? Maybe you responded wrong. Maybe you overreacted. Maybe you were dramatic. Maybe you said some things that were hurtful. And the Lord's coming to you this morning to heal you and to restore you and say, it's okay if you made a mistake, just learn from it. Just grow from it. Just move forward from it. Don't stay stuck in the mistake. And, you know, I just kept hearing that, Pete, this morning, like even um, like there was going to be parents that have carried this heaviness inside of them of 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 thinking, you know, maybe their kids made mistakes because of their mistake and they were carrying this heaviness on them because of that. And that's just the enemy lying to you. That's just the enemy, you know, coming and showing you all the bad things in your life. But that's not the Lord. The Lord is not going to take you and show you nothing but bad choices and bad things. Yeah. I'm just reading some of the comments that are coming in. <clears throat> you know, I remember seeing a movie one time and it was about a guy that uh, it was a comedy, but he woke up and every time he woke up, he had to redo his day. And uh, he had to, he had to, he had to find out, uh, find a way to get out of the problem that he found himself in. And and when he would wake up, he would have to repeat his day. And every day he would try to find a way to 
to come out of that problem. So he would go and he would do something. And every time he would <clears throat> make a mistake, he would wake up again and he had to redo it. So, so he had an opportunity in this movie to, to, to learn from his mistakes. Yeah. So when the next day came, he knew how not to respond. He knew how to overcome the obstacle from the day before. And then every day he would go further and further and further because he was no longer falling to the same traps that he fell to in the past. Right. And I feel like that's that's a that's a big part of what we're, we're saying this morning is that have have we learned from our mistakes? You know, it says in the word that a righteous man falleth seven mm-hmm. times, and it's because it's because he gets back up. That that's the righteousness that he is right. the righteousness of God, and that nothing disqualifies you from the mistakes. Nothing disqualifies right. anybody. You know what? It's it's how we respond. You know, I was just having a conversation this morning with somebody about this, and it's how do we respond in those moments of our mistakes? Do we stay in that place of still, still um, battling? I'm sorry, let me fix this. I and I think too, it's about being humble and not becoming prideful. You know that you know. Oh, well, you know, I I I, I did the right thing. <clears throat> you know, humility yeah. is key. In learning from your mistakes, humility is key because you have to humble yourself to understand and to take heed from Holy Spirit when you've yeah, made a yeah, mistake. Yeah. It's a learning process. It's, 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 you know, oh my God, this whole past two weeks, you know, I've been talking <coughs> with my son and, you know, my son, my sons, they're getting older now and they're becoming these young men. And, you know, he wanted something to come back so quickly. And I told him, I was like, you know, son, I said, there, there's, a, there's a process of things in your life. And sometimes you want it now, but you have to step back and let the process take, uh, take effect and let the process come when it's supposed to happen. And don't try to rush things to happen sooner than they're supposed to happen. And he was just like, no, I, you know, I, I get it, mom. But the point of that was that there's a, there's a process sometimes in situations. And sometimes we want like a quick response and a quick uh, turnaround time. <laughs> you know what I mean? With well, people's emotions and hurts and mistakes. And the Lord's like, just let the process take care of it like there's a process that happens you know even even uh, even mistakes of others i'm you know even mistakes of even our like our fathers and our mothers and you know and i'm reading some of the comments and and i want to maybe get to those in a minute but i know i recently had my father pass away and i know somebody else has mentioned their father had passed and and uh that even that we would learn from the mistakes of our fathers and our mothers, yes. that we would that we would learn how to step out. That we, you know, it, as a father, you don't want your your children to go and fall to the same areas that we fell to. Right. And we always tell them, you know, just listen to me, son. I know what I'm telling you. We know better. We we want to show you a new way. Right, you know, right. and 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 that's that we would even change the patterns that we would fall to that are even our our parents and our. And our generations before us, listen, even ministry, like the, the, the prophets and the evangelists and the teachers that have gone before us, that even in that, that we would, we would learn from their mistakes, that we won't fall subject to the things that they, that they were even attacked in. You see, that we would, we would, we would recognize those things. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I like the way Philippians says it in 3.13. It says, brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own. But one thing I do is forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. And sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes you have to do like Philippians says and stretch forward and not look behind anymore. Yes, there was mistakes. Yes, things didn't work out in certain areas of your life that you never thought would happen. But in those mistakes, we have to learn from them. We have to push forward. We have to forgive we have to we have to forgive people in our lives that maybe have come to hurt us 
we have to learn from those mistakes is not just on on our part it's not just us but even those that have hurt us learning from even those mistakes that people are human and people make mistakes even around us that when they make those mistakes that we can come in humility and forgive <clears throat> them forgive them of things they've said forgive them of things that they've come in and hurt us with that's part of learning from the mistakes and understanding that none of us are perfect because it says in the word we all fall short of the glory of God none of us are perfect you know I just uh, I just heard there's somebody right now that's listening that you can hear my voice whether you're watching or you're listening on radio or Jesus um, that even mistakes that you have done in the past that the spirit of condemnation has tried to come and try to rest upon you and I'm going to tell you what there, there is no condemnation in the Lord and it doesn't matter what you've done, that today could be a brand new day for you. Listen, if you've been dealing with this thing of condemnation that's been trying to come in and it's been trying to set upon you, even even like like <clears throat> you can't move forward because you that that mistake keeps playing in the back of your mind. Maybe it was relationships, maybe it was maybe it's something you might have done. Maybe it's past regrets, marriages or, or children or what whatever it may look like. I'm telling you what, there is freedom right now for you. Mm -hmm. There is freedom in the house for you right now. If that's you, listen, I want to pray for you right now. If that's you, please say me because I'm going to pray with you. And I feel like today is going to be a day of breakthrough. Today is going to be a de day of deliverance for you right now. That, that you're not going to be walking around with your head down. That you're going to walk with your head tall and bold. And you're, you're going to walk as a son and a daughter of the Most High. If that's you, just say me. Yeah, in Romans 8, 1, it says, There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. The word is now. Like right now, God is giving opportunity for you not to have no more condemnation. That's right. Right now. What happened yesterday was yesterday. That's right. It's no more looking back like in Philippians. It's stretching your hand forward to yes, move into Lord. into the now moments. <laughs> yes, Lord. I'm going to pray because we have several people that are saying that's for them. And I'm going to tell you what, right there where you're at, listen, there is a tangible and transferable anointing that's going to happen right now. Listen to what I'm saying. Right there, all you have to do is say, Lord, I receive. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, God, we break all forms of condemnation that have tried to come and rest on our brothers and sisters, God, right now in the name of Jesus, God, that whatever is not of you, Lord, that you would remove it right now, God. And right now, Lord, we just declare, Father, your goodness, God. And yes, we Lord. step in right now to that holy alignment, God, that holy shifting that you that takes place right now, God. Condemnation leave now in the name of Jesus. Be free. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And right now, you are made whole and you are made free right now. Don't worry about what happened yesterday. Don't worry about what happened the day before that. Right now, give it to God. <clears throat> if it's something that you need to release, whether in repentance, then release that right now and give it to the Lord. Today is a brand new day. Don't let condemnation try to come and sit upon you. Condemnation has nothing on you right now nothing in Jesus name in yes, Jesus Lord. name thank you father mm. yeah some <clears throat> sometimes we need to tell the enemy to shut his mouth yeah sometimes we need to just buck up to the enemy and no longer hear the west the whispers of the enemy anymore in our ears because it's not the Lord. And Micah 7, 8 says, Rejoice not over me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be light to me. That's right. The light is always inside of you. That's right. The light yeah. is always there to take out all the darkness. Yeah. So if you've been in darkness recently, just let his, his light come and shine on you this morning. Yeah, come on. You know, it, it, I think a big part is too that even, even mm -hmm. as this, as we we fall because you know I was I was sharing this morning, Allison. You know, I don't know anybody. I, I don't know anybody in personally that I can say that I know walks in that presence and the glory of the Lord twenty four hours a day. 
<laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah. Now, I know that we're supposed to, and I know that's that's the place that we're supposed to be as believers and stuff, but I don't know anybody that does that. We all we all have problems, we all have issues because right. you know, we're we're in this place in our mortal bodies and, and we're on earth and there's attacks and there's spiritual warfare. But you know, those issues when we fall, those issues, those attacks, those things that the enemy does, those things don't define who we are. And I, I don't know who this is for, but listen, those areas of your life where you have found yourself being short, where you found yourself struggling in areas, maybe it's with, with relationships with your, with your wife, maybe with your children, maybe it's with drinking, maybe it's with smoking, maybe it's with, with drugs or alcohol, whatever it may look like for your situation. Listen, the Lord is saying, I will meet you where you're at. I will meet you in that place. Because see, those moments don't define who you are. It doesn't matter. Those moments don't define you. What defines you is how you respond and how you pick yourself up. Listen, saints, you guys, you are, the, you are sons and daughters of the Most High. And we have to have that understanding that His mercies are new every morning. Turn from the ways that we think and just look to God today. Mm. Those things define us. How we get back up. Do we learn from our mistakes? Listen, I made a lot of mistakes growing up. I made a lot of mistakes. I made mistakes with my children. I made mistakes being a father. I made mistakes being a husband. I made a mistake, make mistakes being a minister. But listen, we have to learn from our mistakes. And you know what's the very, what is probably the key here in this? I'm going to give you a key. This is a key for us <laughs> from learning our mistakes Good. is that we have to be able to remain teachable mm -hmm. because if you don't stay in a place of walking in humility, if you don't stay in a place of walking humble and being able to be taught, then we find ourselves in a place of pride and we'll never learn from our mistake because we'll come staying around that same mountain. Right, right, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. No, that's really, really good. <clears throat> I, I want to share with you because, you know, in 1 Peter 2, 9, it says, But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellence of him who called you out of darkness into his marvel marvelous light. You're chosen. Yes. God didn't God didn't make look I'm telling somebody right now God did not make a mistake in creating you. No. You are not a mistake. That's right. You are chosen. You are a royal priesthood. <clears throat> God has a great purpose and destiny for you. And I break those words of man off of you right now wow. yes. that told you anything different yes. than that you are chosen. You have never, ever been a mistake. And we just erase even that thought out of your head right now. We erase even that over you right now that it was a mistake yeah. of you. That is not the Lord. It's the enemy. He's scared of who you're going to become, who you're going to be. He's scared of the very thing that you're going to uh, step into this yeah, season yeah. of power and authority with the Father and Holy Spirit. So X out those thoughts. Don't let it cause depression over you any longer. Don't let it cause you to come and, and hide behind things and hide behind people when you yourself have a voice. You yourself have purpose and destiny to do great and mighty things for the Lord. And you have to just understand that you were never, ever a mistake. God made you with the intention of doing something amazing <clears throat> For his kingdom. Listen, you know, of all the times you could have been alive, the Lord specifically made it to where you would be a part of this generation right now. One of the most amazing times to be alive right now in this time, that we would be the recipients of the prophetic words that were released in the time of the Bible. And I'm going to tell you what, 
You are a chosen generation. We are a chosen generation. You right now, you watching, listen to me. The Lord handpicked you. You are the elected one. You are the chosen generation. The remnant of God. The remnant that is coming forth. The remnant that is rising. This generation, right? The, the new breed where the Lord is going to, he's using us in this time to, to bring, to be a voice to a generation to, so that people can encounter the love of God. That's why you're here. That's why, that's why God created you. He didn't create you just to go and sit in a church pew. He didn't create you just so you could just, just read your word. He wants the word to come alive inside of you. And as it comes alive inside of you, that you begin to move and you begin to demonstrate the, the presence of God through miracles and signs and wonders. I don't, I don't know who this is for. But there, there's somebody watching that you've been having um, fear of death. Like fear of death. Like right now, I just saw like fear of death just try to come in the room. And it's even been like something to deal with. Maybe, I don't know this for the same person, but something to deal with your heart. With your heart. Jesus. And even 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 something about confusion. Listen, this is the word from this is the word of the Lord right now because I've just felt confusion come in the room That's where I, be, I began to feel even lightheaded. Like right now, like confusion was trying to come. You've been you've been attacked in even your vision. You've been attacked even 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 like confusion. Like you don't know what's going on sometimes. I'm telling you what the Lord's gonna break that off of you right now. This thing of death that's tried to come and sit upon you right now, that's you. You need to say it's me right now and receive your healing. Listen to what I'm telling you. The Lord reveals what he's gonna heal. Come on. If that's you, please let us know who's who's watching. Right now, Lord. Thank you, Father. Look, it says, surely there's a future and your hope will not be cut off. God is trying to stir up hope again inside of you. He's trying to tell you today, your hope is not going to be cut off. If the enemy has been coming and lying to you and telling you there's no more hope in a relationship, there's no more hope in a certain situation, there's no more hope in your family. If he's trying to come and cut that off, it's not true. It's a lie from the enemy. He can't cut it off. He has no authority to cut off your hope. Your hope rises inside of you by you beginning to contend, by you contending to believe the truth of Holy Spirit. Listen, if, if, if you were the one that has a fear of death, put, your, put me and then just put write fear. If you're on the comments, put me in fear. Write it on the comments because we're going we're gonna to pray for you. If, it's, if you're the person responding about the heart condition or pain in the heart or pain in the chest, write me uh, chest right now. Right now, we're going to pray. We have a whole bunch of warriors of, of the Lord right now watching. We're going to yes. all pray for you guys like right now. Yes. Even as, as we're doing it, people are already starting to pray in the chat room. Come on, that's awesome, guys. Let's keep that up. Whoever that is right now. Okay, June Alice says it's the death for her. Fear of death. Anybody else? Come on, anybody else? Listen, receive your healing right now. If that's you, receive your healing. Mm. Receive your healing. Come on, saints, if you're watching, begin to pray. Begin to pray for those people yes, that need Lord. that need healing right now. Yeah, begin to pray. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, Rachel. Chuck. Charles, thank you for praying. Nancy, thank you for your prayers, Nancy. Continue to lift them up. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> we want to... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up the prayer line. We haven't done this in a while. What I want to do is we're going to open up our prayer lines right now. Um... If somebody wants uh, needs prayer, uh, specifically, specifically somebody who, who needs breakthrough right now, we're gonna we're gonna pray. Listen, we're, there's gonna be a number. It's gonna come on the screen. There's a number on the bottom of the screen. It's 
888-406-9115. That's 888-406-9115. If you need prayer, if you're listening right now on Radio Air Jesus, if you're watching here on the on the broadcast, if that's you, call the number right now. We're gonna we're gonna pray with you as we go to a break right now. The number is 888-406-9115. That's 888-406-9115. We're going to go to a break. We're going to allow the phone calls to come in. Um, if you need prayer, um, we're going to pray with you right now. Um, go ahead and start calling now. broken this morning, God. We pray, God, that you would break every attack on the mind, God. We pray that you break off, Lord, even suicidal thoughts, even depression, God. We just ask that you break that off of your children this morning, God, your sons and your daughters, Lord, this morning, God. We just ask that you go and you touch them. You bring healing to their body. You bring healing to their soul this morning, God. That you would go in with your rushing living waters and, and, and begin to overflow them with your, with your rivers of life, God. That death would not be there, but just rivers of living water would begin to flow inside of them again that there would be movement of Holy Spirit around them, in them, and over them, Lord, that they would feel your presence this morning, God. We pray that you would even restore that there would be feeling again, God, that they could feel again your presence, they could feel again your Holy Spirit, that there wouldn't be any numbness inside of them of not feeling anymore, God, but that you would come and restore sensitivity of your Holy Spirit. Restore sensitivity of your Holy Spirit, Lord, that they would be sensitive to your spirit. They would begin to, to hear you, to see you, God, to feel you around them, that your love would come and lavish over them, almost like even a coat just coming and landing on their back of your lavishing love this morning, God. 
that you would pour an abundance of your goodness over them, God. God, we pray, God, that that even the things of darkness would have to leave, God, that your light would come seeping in to their soul, to their mind, and to their heart, God, and they would not remain the same, but that you would bring change and you would bring the shift into the next thing you have for them, God, that they wouldn't be stuck, that your heavenly oils would come and anoint them this morning, God, and anoint them, God, for great purpose and destiny that is trying to rise up within them, God. God, we cause in the, we ask you to cause the rising, the hunger, the thirst to come from inside of them, begin to come outwardly, God, in a cry of desperation to you this morning, God that they would understand and know that they need you and only you could provide this for them, Lord. Nobody could fill their hunger and their thirst like you, Lord. Nobody could fill the voids in their life like you, God. And so we just pray, Lord, that every attack of the enemy be broken this morning, God, over your kids, over your sons and your daughters, God, that they would have a, a new start, a new beginning this morning, God, from this, this day forth, God, that they would no longer have any darkness, but just your light would come in and shine bright over them. And they would see you, Lord. They would feel you again, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Come on. What's up, David Hunter? My buddy, David Hunter, just tuning in with us here on our social media. What's up, everybody? God bless you guys. We hope you guys are having a good time here. <coughs> I don't even know what time it is. Um, <laughs> Is that, I don't know if this is the right you time. You took my phone. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We got plenty of time here. Yeah, we're just we're just here, and our 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 topic for today is learning from your mistakes. Learning from your mistakes. <laughs> and how God just comes in and shows us things in His Spirit, in Holy Spirit. You know, we we are so hard on ourselves so many times of mistakes that we've made mistakes that we make even now and the lord literally just came to me last night and said it's okay did you learn from the mistakes you've made and his sweet love just walked into the room just to come and encounter us and just to come in and say it's okay just learn from those mistakes don't go backwards just move forward and so the Lord this morning has just been taking us by the hand, leading us forward, stretching out our hand forward to come forward and no longer looking back like it said in Philippians. Mm -hmm. 